What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And work has been progressing over at the 19K Fox Arcade. And I thought I would take a minute and just kind of update you on the status. Well, why don't we go over there and check it out right now? So here is where we're going to start. This L shape is going to support, um, I think we're going to be able to support 10 arcade one ups, uh, full size cabinets here. That's going to be plenty for my purposes. I have, uh, I have nine and two are over in the office, so going to have room to expand, which, uh, which I will. Got a few on pre-order. So basically what I'm doing here, this is a basement, and uh, it has flooded before. Hasn't done it in quite some time, but just to make sure that I'm not going to have any damage to the arcades, I'm going to build, I built this substructure, this subfloor. And believe it or not, uh, the area that I'm in, treated lumber was actually a lot cheaper than regular uh, non-treated lumber. So I framed this out to give myself enough room for the, uh, for the risers to sit here and then some space in the back for the outlets. So here's the outlet here that we're going to be plugging into. When this is complete and the, and the actual flooring is in place, I'll have a short uh, extension cord basically cut and then uh, be able to plug that in there and then we'll have power running all the way down to all the different outlets. So it's, uh, it's framed up in treated lumber. Uh, and the idea is if this thing floods, if the basement floods to protect the cabinets, but we also want to protect our electrical. Now, this is not going to be obviously to code in your area. You do uh, you check your local codes before you take on anything, any kind of projects like this. But basically what I wanted to do is drill holes through the lumber and, uh, and allow enough space to keep the wires off of the floor. So I also use staples in the boards there to kind of keep that up. And then we just go from junction to junction and each one is obviously going to support two arcade one ups. So you got about four feet, and then you've got uh, you got that outlet in the middle there. <clears throat> so you can plug into into each outlet. The junction boxes are also fiberglass. Uh, I would recommend not using steel because if it does get wet down here, uh, it could rust. So everything's for the most part uh, weatherproof. And make this turn around here. Now here's where. You may think this looks a little sketchy. So I ran out of Romex, which is this household solid wire stuff. I had a piece, I actually have a probably about 20 feet or 15 feet of extension cord that I couldn't use anymore because the end was damaged, it was cut. So what I did is I spanned about four feet with this extension cord. Now, if you're gonna do this, I would recommend doing a continuity check between all three wires to make sure there's no damage. Um, with this short piece, you don't want any kind of short circuiting, obviously. And another thing to be aware of, this is actually gonna be stranded wire. It's not gonna fasten and, and bend around those terminals in the same way that solid wire would. So not a big deal, just it is something to be aware of. Treated the same way, stapled to keep it off the floor. And there you go. What's behind this wall? This is a bedroom and it is currently where my machines are sitting. So anyway, there you have it, the, uh, the beginnings of what's gonna be, I hope, a pretty, uh, pretty satisfying project. Gonna paint the floor at some point, gonna get rid of some of this old furniture. And, uh, and you know, for those of you that were actually kind of curious about the lighting there uh, in the basement, I got these uh, from Amazon. See how thin that is, it's really just an LED panel. And then what it does is you cut your holes, like a six inch hole, in the actual um, the drop ceiling tile itself, which is really easy to do because that's just basically like foam. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a link for these in the description below uh, just in case you think you might use those for any kind of projects. It's really nice if you have a low ceiling. It's not terribly low in the basement, but it's not quite eight feet either. So this, uh, this definitely helps out a lot. These things are also really bright and dimmable. So that helps if you're trying to get that uh, mood lighting just so. Or if you've got an arcade that maybe you want not totally dark, uh, but not quite lit up like a Christmas tree either. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video, and I will see you next time.